Hello guys, welcome back to another freight train video. Today we're going to be building a Santa Fe AMD FP45. Now this train took me a bit to build and this is actually a freight train engine, not a passenger train engine, okay? So if you're building a BNSF freight train, you're looking for like those, you know those red and light gray Santa Fe engines where it says Santa Fe, <laughs> not Santa Fe, or Santa Fe. This freight train engine is for you because, yeah, but this one actually has no railing on the sand, it's wide. Now, I've actually built two other trains like this, which, I have a few CN trains like that. I have a CN GF-638B, and I have a CN C40-8M, and they are both really wide, and I actually have a BC rail version as well. Which is actually a BCOL 8-40CM. And there's actually going to be a tutorial for in the future. And we also have, we're going to be having a Burlington Northern version of it, this too. So they'll look pretty similar. There might be a few different details that changed around a bit. But you'll notice them when we build the Burlington Northern tomorrow. Yeah, it's actually really late for me right now because it's almost 10 in the afternoon. It's literally 9.54 p.m. right now. If you guys see that blue, that's because I'm checking how many seconds. Okay, so it's actually like 9.54. So anyway, let's get started. And I'm pretty sure this train's like 34 blocks long. We'll have to find out. But anyway, let's get polished and a sight. And built and some stonebrook stairs as well. Don't forget that stonebrook slab, trip wire hooks, etc. And build a two by three of polished andesite with one on the top corners. And then build stonebrook stairs in the bottom corners here with a stonebrook slab there with trip wire hooks on the sides. And go into the top middle block and count 34 blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And basically build the same thing on the other side, just the 2 by 3 with one of the top corners, followed by an upside down stone brick stairs. And then go two blocks back and build two by five of the polished andesite block and build this. And then use the stone brick slab to build a stairwell right here. Oops, I think I got rid of a trip bar hook. Yeah, I did. And do the same thing on the back. Add your little stairwell here. And then add a stone brick slab with a trip bar hook on each side. And then make the middle row here three blocks wide, like this. I keep messing up. Now, by the way, if you guys were wondering, this actually isn't my Minecraft home I build all the trains in. Because I haven't even nearly had my Minecraft home for as long as my train world has been here. Because this is actually my YouTube tutorial train world, which, yeah. So, this whole time it's been a YouTube tutorial train world. And I actually still have as far as my first video, which is my wheeling in Lake Erie. And I actually found out that my part one on this, my first video ever, has like over 100 views. Thank you all so much for that, by the way. I really appreciate the support. And if comments are turned on, there'd probably be at least more than one comment. <laughs> I actually do turn on comments now, so you guys can probably go comment something if you want, but you don't have to because it's not necessary to use the comment section 
Although, it will probably get removed if, it, if there's too many haters in the comments. Depends on how the comments go. But anyway, um, let's get rid of all the items. Let's get oak fence, red concrete, black concrete, yellow concrete, acacia stairs, black stained glass blocks, dark oak signs, and what else? Some white dye. I'm looking for another item we should get. You know what? No, get, no, get rid of everything, actually. Instead, let's get stone brick slab, acacia slab, polished anisite, and a stone brick stair. And we're going to build about five acacia slab, one, two, three, four, five. Then a polished anisite. And then add, like, what? So if my voice starts to get a little coarse like that, it's because it's almost, yeah, it's pretty much 10 in the afternoon now. But anyway, add another 5 acacia slab, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this stone brick slab, and then build about, what, 5 polished andesite, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then go to the back and add like two acacia slab, then a polished anisite, and then fill in the rest with acacia slab. And I'm pretty sure you have to build all these same patterns on the other side. Yep, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Add five acacia slab, one polished anisite, five acacia slab, one stone brick slab, five polished anisite. 8 acacia slab, 1 polished andesite, 2 acacia slab. And on the bottom, we're going to get our hoppers and build like two hoppers here. I think the hopper wheels are kind of cool, so we'll add them for this train. Although not all my trains are going to use it. Most of my trains are going to have the new, my new pattern. Thanks for my wheels. I'm just using the hopper wheels because they're old. And they're really cool. They're kind of nostalgic as well. Because I used them on my first video. Anyway, continue the hopper wheel pattern until you get here. Then leave a block. Add like three polished and a site. And then get your hoppers and place two here and here. And add stone brick slab. Oh, by two more hoppers. And this stone brick slab, and then a hopper. Oh god, I'm not even destroying my hoppers either. That shouldn't be placed. Then lava block and add three polished andesite. And then add three basically everywhere else. And add stone brick stairs going across all the other stuff. Alright, now that's the bottom done. Let's work on the upper areas. So get some oak fence. And actually, yeah, let's just get our oak fence. Build like two right here, with one on the top. And actually, add one in the two corners here in the front. And in the back. Add a 2x2 two two of them here. And then let's see, you know what? Let's start the back. So let's get like gray concrete, a ladder, birch door, birch fence gate, stone button. Maybe a stone brick stairs, stone brick slab. And actually, underneath all these polished andesites here and here, she said stone brick slab. And then I add a light gray concrete here and here. Add a birch door. And then make your doorway with light gray concrete. 
actually add another 2 by 3 on the top. Full by open birch fence gate. And ladders going across everything. And then I stone button here and here. Like, one there, leave a block, add one. They're just little ladder things here. And this is a full ladder I decided to add like that. And actually add like a 4x2 or a 2x4 sideways thing like this. And then add some stone brick stairs. Followed by some light gray concrete in the middle. What else? Add some iron bars and a birch door. And some light gray concrete, some other brick stairs, and some bedrock, some stone brick slab, red concrete, dark oak fence gate. And then add three iron bars here, followed by like Pinterest recommendations. I'm just going to leave it to go to the side. Add three here with iron bars right here. Add a birch door. Add. Actually, add. Five bedrock. Like, add one, two, three, four, five. Full by five nether brick stairs above. Same thing on the other side. And then I add like three like big concrete rows in the top with stomach slab going across all this. Blah blah blah. And then actually add a C shape here, followed by one down here. And then build backwards H or N shape, whatever. And then add a backwards C shape. And basically re reflect the same thing. So add two backward C shapes, followed by all this crap, followed by all this crap. And add light gray concrete all around it. <laughs> Birch door here with iron bars on the side. Um, and then what else? You know what, let's get bedrock. You know what? No, let's get some stone brick stairs too. And add four stone brick stairs. And then how many bedrock do we add? This tutorial is going by fast. Because I'm in a hurry. Because I'm still scared of hearing noises. Because I'm thinking about it too much. It's in my head. It's kind of crazy. Even though I turned my earring noises off, it's still kind of creeping me out thinking about them in my head. So, honestly, I'm paranoid. So, anyway, I had four light gray concrete with four stone brick stairs above. I had five bedrock. I have another brick stairs. Light gray concrete everywhere. Repeat. Everywhere. And actually, I'm going to add three iron bars here. And then, what else do we add? Add like three red concrete here. Followed by a 2x3. Sorry if I'm going fast, I'm still paranoid. I'd like red concrete down here. The bedrock up here. Followed by another brick stairs. And actually, get your acacia stairs and add one like up there. Okay, there's only three bedrock right here, which is good. But we're still gonna place three iron bars here. And actually get your item frames and place one here. 
and then place your black stained glass pane here. I don't know what to build next for the next step, honestly. Oh, I know. Uh, build like four rows going up here. And add like two acacia stairs. And actually make it go across another what? One, two. Okay, so we're gonna add like four more. One, two, three, four. And on the other side, we're going to work on the other side because we still have a lot to do on the other side. So basically add your light gray concrete here, the four here. I have four rows going up of red concrete, a two by four here with one going up. Acacia stairs, three bedrock, another brick stairs, same crap we added on the other side to this side. And, uh, the acacia stairs and acacia doors. Oh, and actually, uh, iron bars. And I had, like, two upside down acacia stairs, followed by an acacia door. With iron bars on the sides. Then add like four going up here before across all this. Now the same door on the other side that we added on the other side. And add this stuff here. With iron bars on the sides. You know what? Let's get my screenshot. Right here is a good screenshot for my Santa Fe. Yep. That's good. That's going to be, a, not screenshot, a thumbnail, sorry. That's going to be our thumbnail of the video. Like that. You know that picture on the title? That's called a thumbnail. That's going to be the thumbnail of my video. Right, get yellow concrete and place one right here. And then add the other. I will shape again with the yellow concrete. And actually, get your red concrete. Difficulties right now. I don't know what to do. Okay, so add a line of red across there. With one up here. You know what? Also add another three up here. And I've actually forgotten to do the top. So let's continue the top by adding liquid concrete across all this. All the way till we hit this acacia stair. Don't place a row there. I place a dark oak fence gate here. Naturally, skip like four blocks and then start adding your skip a box and brick slab there. I'm still paranoid and I just want to get this tutorial done with. So, anyway, place red concrete going across all this. And. Get your black stained glass block and build across all this. Full by three red concrete here. And get a black concrete and place one here for the logo. Feel a concrete across all these sides. And then connect the red concrete back here. And actually, I'm going to stop so I can give you a moment to look at what the train looks like. Like, I'm so paranoid, I'm really going fast. So we can get this over with. I'm sorry if you can't follow this stuff. Feel free to use the pause button. I don't really care if you use the pause button. It's not like I'm going to get mad over it. <laughs> but anyway, let's add, let's get Acacia Slab and Redstone Torch. And place a Redstone Torch here. And then two Acacia Slab there for the little top bumps. And really, I think all we need to add left now is the signs. 
I'm pretty sure there's more lights. But first, let's get the dark oak signs and the white dye. Build in your number. I did 101, so press enter. Type in your number. Right click with white dye. And that's it. And actually, I'm going to pause the video so we can um, go on Google and look up something. So I'll be right back in just a moment. Alright, I came back with lights here. So actually, I did it on the when we were doing tutorial on, so I'll re instruct you. So place an item frame here, an item frame here, an item frame here, and add white stained glass block in it. And I'm afraid that's all we have for trains today. But I will be back in my next train video with a Burlington Northern EMD F45. Now it's actually not an FP45, it's just an F45. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my next train. Bye.